What's up, LVL lovers? It's Yemi Afalabi with another Expat American Opinion. Now, in this clip, in case you haven't heard, it's the clip that went viral a couple of weeks ago with over 30 million views of Shoshana Roberts, who got catcalled in New York City while she was walking for 10 hours by over 100 guys. Now, this brings light to street harassment in the world and in New York in particular. And for you ladies who are like, I'm tired of getting catcalled every day. This is not cool. I'm not cool for that. And I apologize for that act out. Stay tuned for this because I have tips for you. If you really want to stop cat calling dead in his tracks, you should expat yourself here to Sweden. And here's why. Roll the bump. Hey, baby, what's up, ma? Yo, I'm liking your pants. Yo, your pants are looking really good. I don't know why guys cat call. My whole problem with the cat calling video was the dudes that were cat calling were so lame. Like, if you're going to say hello, beautiful, you have to have something for 2014, ladies. These new ladies want new shit. Like, if you're going to cat call a woman, you need to say stuff like, yo, what's up, ma? I can get you 80,000 Twitter followers. I'm saying no. Can I take you to coffee? You got to set your game up. And to the guys that are saying... Oh, she was wearing tight pants, so, you know, she wanted me to talk to her booty. You have to do it like a gentleman does in 2014. You give it a glance, and you save it to the spank bank. Case closed. Don't just, like, try to touch a booty or give her a cat call. Cat call with class. As a native New Yorker, I feel for you female ladies. But I got the medicine. You should move here to Sweden because Sweden, and I quote, here's some statistics has been ranked fourth in genital quality amongst its top-ranked neighbors. And the neighbors, get this, are Iceland, Finland, and Norway. So if you don't like Swedish meatballs, you can go to Iceland and take some Instagram pictures of rocks, I guess, <laughs> or Norway, and just, like, you know, spend a lot of money. So you move here, so you'll say goodbye to catcalling and guys staring at you and guys trying to touch you up and all this street harassment. You say goodbye to that, and you'll say hello to guys treating you equally and not giving you any looks and treating you like you don't even exist and treating you like you're not special because guess what? You're not special anymore. You're equal. So you won. And I'm not trying to show, throw any shade at any feminist or anything because I know there's going to be comments like, F you, B no, I'm not saying anything about feminism. Either. I'm just saying in Sweden and in Scandinavia alone, they are much further in gender equality than in New York City, unfortunately. So just move here. Relinquish your citizenship. Get on a plane. It's super cheap. And move here to Scandinavia if you really are tired of getting catcalled. And I'm not saying catcalling doesn't happen here. I'm just saying the Swedish men are a little bit more sophisticated when it comes to catcalling. Catcalling in Sweden sounds more like, hello. You are very uh, equal to us, and I respect all of your decisions. I am wrong as a male, and I apologize. <laughs> that's it. All right? So, yeah, that's the video. If you don't like cat calling, if you do like cat calling, I want you to comment on this video and let me know if it's okay or not okay to cat call or if it's okay to give someone a compliment. I think it's encouraging on our right to speak, and socially, I think, in context, it's okay to give a woman a compliment, if you must know. But don't be a creep. Cat call with class. Hashtag that. I'm Yems. Uh, thanks. Subscribe below. Yeah, I'm back. Stay hip. I'm out. Peace. Meow.